Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie. Hey, ladies, how are you? Hope you're well. I'm sorry with the test. Every time, if I put in a title, especially on this channel, if I put in a title, something going on. If I put in a title, or something in the description box, it will not, it will say it won't work. If I put in this, if I put in the word test, then it works. What's your thing? No, I think these elections have a lot to do with the YouTube. They're probably looking at titles. Looking at page names. It's kind of a scary thought, the way it's going. Huh? We have to really be on our metaphysical game here. Only on Afrocentric home decor, and then I can't put a title in, but I can put test. So I can't put a title. And, I, and, and on the other channel, I can. It's very interesting. There's also elections here as well. And I was watching this from Tanzania. She was saying they say during the elections in that country, they tend to shut down or slow down the internet. But I think on this YouTube, I think it has more to do with the elections. Do you think it's weird that it takes that long to decide who the president is? You think it's really about the battle? I don't know. All of that seems very interestingly strange to me, but I'm going to keep it high. I'm going to keep it high. Very strange. I don't know why it's not strange to y'all, but I'm sure it is because y'all are thinkers. So I was a little off today. I went to the market, but I just was not feel like being there. But I think it's because I'm a little sleepy. My food I eat is so good, but I've been eating it after dark. And I think my body has went to another level where I need to eat before the sun goes down. But I come in the house about 7, 8. Now, I know I'm coming in late. I come in about 6, sometimes 7. It depends on how late I'm working at the art center. And I feel like I might need to eat earlier, which is what the Nana, the herbalist, told me to do. All of us today. So, but I'm still raw. So, y'all, Afro Center from the core. I I don't know. It was, in my kitchen, I had this amazing revelation, and the revelation was: I'm gonna let you look at it. This is my stove, and I never use it. Why do I have a stove that I'm not using? Like, I really used it when I was not being raw. I really used it when I was not being raw. So, y'all, we're getting rid of the stove. I know Koto's going to think she lost it. She really lost it. But we're getting rid of the stove because I use it for nothing. This is what I use it for. And I don't even put this here. It's not even for storage. And if it's you being used as a table, I would rather have a table than to have this here. It's a waste of space. You know, it's funny because when I first thought of getting it, I had bought the hot plate first because that's all I had. I had and I needed it. And the hot plate was working. I was making soup, so I was using it for tea or when it's too hot. I'm not in the house a lot. It didn't make sense for me to really have the stove, but I don't know. Something, I guess, traditionally my mind couldn't wrap around my wrap it around the thought that I don't really need a stove. Like sometimes you're stuck, you know, and caught up in what you think you need. I don't need the stove, and I'm a raw foodist, or I eat raw. I don't have to claim that I did at this point in my life, but I eat raw, and to be honest, I love raw. I don't miss cooked food. I want to go back. Africa's different, and I'm older, and I don't need the same things I used to need, even in food, and I don't need that go down that road. I like being raw. I got the energy, the clarity. I, I don't drink. I don't smoke any substances. Like, I clean and I love it, you know, so I don't need it. As a matter of fact, let me tell you what I would rather do with this space. So let's talk about it. So this space, and I'm just going to see how this moves, has this window right here, the two windows. This is a south facing window. These are west facing window. South facing windows are, people call them dream windows because it's, it's where a sun is plentiful, lots of sun. 
that comes in. So my plants in the two rooms are on the south facing side. And that's what they do so well. Even on an overcast day like today, there's still a lot of light, right? So this is an excellent window to grow stuff that needs a lot of sun. Succulents, of course, but I'm not as into, I'm not really into succulents. But I'm into certain kinds that I've been seeing, hanging succulents here. But anyway, yeah, so regular plants will do great. So this is my plan. Why well, have this? Plus, I think it takes away from the design and the beauty of where I'm going with my decor. You understand? Like, that's a big part, too, but I don't need it. It's a waste of space. I like space. <laughs> Is this gorgeous? Like, do you love this? Like, are you in love like me? I'm in love with this. So, so for me, I would like to take the stove out. And I got a couple of ways that I could go with this. Okay, so remember, we have this fabulous, absolutely fabulous light. So, I'm thinking now that it just my mind already took this out. So, just so you know, in my mind, this is not even here. So, just take it out, okay? Which opens up the room a lot more, right? Now, there's two things that I could see, and it might not be necessarily in my kitchen. Like, maybe it's an idea for something else. But I actually would like, do you see how this has that cafe? I, I think it has a cafe feel. The little table with the two little chairs. I would love to do, believe it or not, something very similar, a table with two chairs on the side. But then I lied to y'all because I don't need two chairs. But I do need another table. I mean, that's on another house, another room. If I was more into people coming in the kitchen, we sit down or having maybe like food demos, which I'm not. So, you know, that's a design for somebody else because I, I keep that in mind. What I would actually like to do is get rid of this. And yes, build, I do need another like space, maybe another table. Do I need another countertop? Not necessarily. Let me just cut to the chase. I have two palm trees that I keep moving around the house, but really I would like the two palm trees here and in the middle of it or somewhere near it, yes, yeah, some type of shelving, something that looks really good that if I wanted to grow some more herbs, because it's the herbs that I like and do well, and I don't have the pest problem with the herbs, that I could actually have the herbs here. Because there's a few more herbs for my salad that I would love to have. So vegetation, a little more. Uh, maybe not the top this side. Maybe a butcher block table to have more room to cut. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't cut the food. I don't do, I, I, I don't, I have somebody do that for me. So I don't really need more counter space, I don't. So. It would need to be a functioning. It would need to be uh, something that can uh, hold trees or something that can maybe hold herbs or what about a blank thing space? Like it could just be blank. Really, it could just be the, because I like trees. So again, the two palms that I already have, period. What about that? Just the two palms. If I wanted a little table, I could have a folding table. If I thought that I needed one, because I don't really need to grow the herbs over here, but I mean, it would be nice. I do need more herbs room. I put the folding table slotted back of the refrigerator on the side if I wanted. Something like that more. And they got plenty of folding tables at the art center. But really, I want a place for my two palms that don't really have a place. And uh, I think it'll be really beautiful over here. So I'm getting rid of this. I mean, and what a pleasure, too. So I get rid of this, and I mean, this right here, you know, your head will hit, but I would have all of this space to move in. It doesn't even matter if I don't know what I need for now. Just get rid of it because it doesn't, it doesn't, so I'm a salad. First of all, I'm a salad. They sell these things. Like you can buy a, a stove or a refrigerator at a, a Malcolm, like a store, or you could buy them on the streets. The streets, you never know what you're getting, but a lot of people buy this on the street. So I'm going to give this to somebody to sell it for me. And then I'm going to take whatever money that I get, and I'm going to buy whatever the new thing that I need to buy. I'm not buying more plants. I'm going to work with the plants that I already have. This is a great window. Why would I need I don't need this for nothing. I'm going to give the person the gas tank with propane with it already in it. The stove is going. Now, these pots, I don't even need them, but they're nice pots. I want to pass them on to somebody, like a family member, whatever. I'm going to keep the pots for a minute because the pots will be good. Because um, I have guests over, who knows? I don't know, I'm not going to cook, because that's not me. Um, but I'm going to keep them because they're expensive and they're such great pots, and they're not taking up any space. So I'm keeping the pots, but I'm getting rid of the stove. The 
The stove is done, done, done. I thought about it today. And I'm so I'm looking forward to being back, to seeing it. And who knows, you know me, I may get another table, but I'm thinking it would have to be something for herbs. See, I'm liking this herb thing, and I gotta just do it right. Cause it would have to be a pretty high table to grow the herbs enough to fit here. But don't worry, I think about it. Or I don't have to do tables. I can do, yeah, it would be nice to have more shelving. So we'll see, cause I, at the same time, let me see what it looks like when it's not in there. So we're gonna do a food haul as well. Uh, so y'all, remember this basket here, which is where I keep all my plastic bottles, so this is my recycling. And I actually have the, uh, Kojo's mom uh, collects the bottles, so that's what we, I take them, they take them to her. So remember I said I needed another basket. When I look for baskets, look for baskets, when in my heart, my heart was calling for this basket again. I, I can tell you, I loved, I mean, when I say I love this basket, I mean, I loved it before the red, golden, green. Okay, I loved it before the red, golden, green. So I love it even more after the red, golden, green. I love this basket. So when I'm going to, so I, I actually ordered another one, paid down half on it, and I'm going to actually have it painted, and you'll have to just wait and see what the paint's going to be. It's not going to be painted. It's going to have the red, the yellow, and green, you know, black thing, but it's not going to be painted in the same way. You know, one thing that I realized, just really going deep within, when I watch these little things like house, home therapy, or house therapy, I'm going to call it house. And what I love, is I feel like those shows represent me so much more is how people go for it in that deepest way. That they're not, they're not afraid and they're not, they really are not decorated for anybody else. And I think that's what's so kind of dangerous about YouTube and destructive is, it could take away your creativity because people have suggestions or thoughts or ideas or you're trying to see if people love your apartment when you're losing something. And the people that don't have social media and people just find them are actually going for it more. So I look at my dress, master kitchen, I just thought about that. But it's so funny. But I feel like, I look at the colors, because you got the alphas, oh yeah, right. It's just amazing. So anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm, I, I, I want to go for it. But one thing I was thinking, like, if I like every one of my damn baskets in the house, all the same baskets, so be it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really like, why are you trying to get another basket when you love that basket? You love it as a laundry basket, that's why you got it as a trash can. You love it as a trash can, and that's why you want another one as a recycling can. The one in the laundry, the laundry basket one, looks different than this one, which will look different from that one, but you love that style. If you love, so another thing, like people plants, if you like one plant, you want to buy it five times, God dang it, buy one plant five times. You know, it's like these rules or these ideas in our minds, and I can't have that because I like it too much. So it's such a backwards way of thinking. And I had to change my own thing like, Hey, you like it. God dang it. Get another one. Like, you like it. I'm going to do a lot with these baskets. I, think, I know they're going to be on the site. So if you want your own original Ghana basket, I can do that for you. I, I'll have it on the site. But just coming up with, I think this kitchen is the most me as far as I just kept the vision. You know, I'm teaching a class this morning. The vision class, which starts at 8 a.m. your time, which used to be my time, but it's not anymore. It used to be my 12, but now it's my 1, because y'all is five hours behind. So that's, I just want to keep that in mind. Like, don't, it's hard, y'all, but take the class. Oh, well, yesterday was the last day to join. If you super duper really want to join, you can. So let's talk about what we have in today. Hold on one second, ladies. Yeah, I came with that. I was like, wait a second. I don't need the stove, you know, and I don't need, I, I never really needed it. The hot plate worked fine. Now, I guess the only thing about the hot plate is if the electricity goes off, which it does, but it never is for long. It's the water, I think, is the real issue here. It doesn't matter. The only thing that I use the stove for at this point in my life is uh is 
I, I, I'll say, and I don't even do that really, is, is tea. But I actually want to make, and I used to do this in the States, I want to make sun tea. This is gone, I mean, I guess hot all the time, so I'm not having, I used to drink tea for health reasons. Now I don't drink tea, I don't have those, I don't have high blood pressure. My blood pressure is not high anymore. Because my diet and my lifestyle, so now I don't really need tea, but I can do sun tea. So I am letting it go. When Kojo comes on Monday, I'll let him, I'm going to tell him ahead of time. He's going to chop me and I'll be like, ho, ho, ho. Please, uh, I'm like, yep, Kojo, we're doing this. This is what's looking, what's looking. But actually, he don't doubt me no more. I have to say that. Okay, so bananas. This is what we got from the market today. Yeah, Kwame's at his village, so it's just me today, which is good because I want to wash off all of my plants. I do want to repot. I don't have the dollars for to repot ten plants. No, I don't have that. But because uh, pots is more than the plants, pots is more than the plants, y'all. Y'all know it. But yeah, we're gonna do bananas. See, I buy a lot of bananas because I use it for my cheese and cereal. I use it for smoothies. Bananas, mm, that has always been a staple in my home. No matter what country, continent that I've lived in, it has always been a staple in my home. So we have our bananas. Let's see. I'm trying to turn mm -hmm. Bananas done. So our container is, this is called Lamborghini, I wanted to call it Lamborghini, but it's not, it's Lamborghini, I think. And it is a house of drink. And it's made of millet, which is the millet seeds, uh, ginger, and I think that's it. I hope it don't have no sugar in it, but it probably does, but it is, it is a delicious drink. There's no, there's no doubt about that this drink. And it gives you some really wonderful high energy, something in Kwame knows. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. Special and it's powerful. It's very ginger, so. That's a little treat. The other thing that we have here that's going to go on here, maybe. Because we actually got to put the pork on. Is I have the avocado. So I get four. Avocado for me, I'll put up here. Avocado for me is a big, big part of my raw food diet and my making my salads taste delicious. And yes, if you want to know, I eat salads every day, but they're just so full and then growing their own herbs. That's why I'm pretty sure I'm going to grow something high here that has a ledge. With the herbs grown because the herbs, the basil, these herbs are they're like microgreens. They're filled with nutrients, and I and they are they're amazing. I got my nutritional needs. I found some goji berries yesterday here. Uh, this here is the lettuce. So I gotta do. I just thought about what I can use. <laughs> So I have three heads of lettuce, which is enough for the week. Put that down. So I'm going to take out the lettuce. They still got the root. Like this is the real. If these were, if these are not GMO, they really come from the village. I mean, that's what's up. I mean, I've never gotten that at the stage. The roots on the bottom. So. I was told to put it in a bowl, but I'm putting it in a colander where it has some breathing room. And then Faustina, she cleans all of this. So yeah, I don't, I'm so excited about getting rid of the stove. Yeah, and this is super dirty. So the cleaning on this, it's a process. That's why I'm so glad I don't have to do it. It's like super dirty. Our heads, our heads of lettuce. To go with the one I bought yesterday, which I have to. 
All right, we got heads and lettuce. All right, now, heads and lettuce. I know I'm looking these bags up. Some I keep. So this one, I can keep. This one, I can keep as well. Let me say something. So, yeah. They want to know what I eat in the week. Everything I'm showing you is what I eat in the week. On Saturday, I buy it or add new things to it. All over again. Okay. Let's put this. This is the actual shopping bag. So in this bag, see sometimes they do it too tight, so yeah, I'm ready to bag. That's the one thing, Ghana, it has way, 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 way too much plastic. And they got to, they need to work on that. So this is the tomatoes. We get a lot for, I don't know how much. I want to say five CDs, but it's probably less than that. So these are the Ghana tomatoes, and you will find tomatoes in abundance in Ghana. In abundance. So I'm going to take these tomatoes and I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. So hold on, ladies. Okay. Let's go. The next thing we have. Oh, is the coconut water. Now, you know, this is where I take the tea that the elder Nana gave me, the raw food is. We eat one cup meal a day. And I love him. So I'm going to put, I, I, get, I take my carrots from home, and I'll do three. And this is coconut water from the coconut shell. And then I also have the meat, and I'm sure I'm going to get to that soon. Sorry, y'all. Organization is the dang key here. And right now, and that's another thing. Uh, Faustina cleans the refrigerator, everything, y'all. It's a blessing. It's such a blessing. Let me take this milk that didn't work out. So, yeah. So I'm pretty sure you only have vegetables in it. Okay. All right. So now we have, let's see. So this is, the House of Women sell this. I always say about this. This is the dandelion. See, you got this plastic. It's a lot of dandelion. This is the dandelion green. So pretty, so pretty. So I gotta put this in this bowl right here. You can see the light in here, you see it's green, okay? There the line. Then we have our, they're like my razor plant. Okay, we have the pineapple which smells, oh, so delicious. Just like she said, the pineapple is red. That's why the top is coming on so crazy. So since they were the big ones, I got two. Next thing I have is my coconut meat that I eat as a snack. So I'm gonna actually, let me see, what can I put in yeah, I do have something. I have some that's frozen, and I have some frozen bananas, so I'm gonna try to blend up a banana coconut like cream, ice cream. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. I got this bag. So in here, I have carrots. So carrots. And these are Thirty roots coming out. I mean, like if this is organic, and some stuff is coming from the village, 
Like that is just like you don't get that. I never got this at the farmers market. The real best on them. So and I love that. So here's my hairy garlic, hairy garlic. My skin is clean as well. I also got the beetroot. Again, you can see the roots that they come from the ground. Oh my god. Just pray because they all know Margaret are connected to the village, the ones that are. And I know, like, you don't find it a lot, but in Makola, there's a woman that sells lemons with the juice already juiced. And she hasn't had it in a while because she said it comes over from the village and they didn't have any. So I believe we do get some village, village stuff. Okay, so the beetroot and also two fat cucumbers that if they are pesticide, I can't taste it and I usually can taste it. I buy from the same woman. I know it's Faustina doesn't buy from everybody. She buys from the same people all of the time. And I want to ask her why, because maybe she knows something that I need to know. Okay. Let's see. Is this a working bag? Yes. All right. Let's see what's next. What's next is the big, the Don Dada. But I actually just need to go on and buy another bowl for it because this is not going to make it. This is the poor poor, which, oh my God, I pray the poor poor is good. But anyway, one, two, like the poor poor is probably one of my favorite fruits uh, is the poor poor. It's crazy. And the poor poor goes where y'all at right now. Or the store. Only until later. Only until Frostina comes. And then once Frostina comes, uh, the poor poor. See, the poor poor then goes in my stomach. No. <laughs> it goes uh, it goes in a couple of for the week. But these lovely serving trays that will be on the side or I have to be on the side. Y'all can just email me. We can just do this email for a while. Because I might do that with the sheets uh, next week. Just have the sheets say, hey, who wants them? Well, I'll put them on because we, we can get the price for that. So, anyway. Okay. Poor, poor. And that is the end of my haul. If I forgot something, I don't remember. So, <laughs> and then I didn't forget but I don't remember. And that is it, ladies. So yeah, I'm gonna come get your comments. Then of course I'm gonna clean up and I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do with the rest of my life. <laughs> Hold on, y'all, let's see talk. I'm gonna do that with class. To save some energy for that. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, this whole electric thing, y'all still don't know. Y'all really think they count me. Mm -hmm. Okay. They already know. I feel like this is the, the, the Shakespearean prophetic words come true. The world is a stage and we are all actors type thing. Like this one seems like it is acting its way out. And it's a scared thought, but I always think of Francis Crest Welsing, white annihilation, the greatest fear. And I say like, what would they do? Would they have to do yeah, I don't know, y'all. Y'all going for this. All right. Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And where is a safe place? Like, I don't even know. I'm sorry that my table is crooked. Hold on. So, yes. Let's see who is on. Bijou. I sent Bijou. I hope you got your receipt. I sent you your receipt for your beautiful. Good morning, Miss Marie. Hey, Aurora, from your beautiful duvet. <laughs> Love the dress. Thank you, Aurora. Maya, the green juice looks great. Grand rise. I may have to watch the replay for today's class. Okay, no problem. Tanisha, good morning. How are you doing? Wonderfully. A little off, but last night I watched your videos and I love your trash bag. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. I love it, too. Love me, Fro. Thank you for that love. 
My mother-in-law uses her dishwasher in storage case. Yeah, Maya, I did too. When I had a dishwasher, I had never, no, that was the last class, I mean, last house in North Carolina. I never used dishwashers, dishwasher, not even once. Plants, you know it. <laughs> Love me, Fro says, yes, palm tree. Yes, and I have two and they're beautiful. Love that dress. Thank you, Love Me Fro. Uh, Grand Rises of Lisa Marie Ladies. Hey, DJ Queen Champion. You don't need the, the drive for your teas. Uh, the drive for my teas. You mean the, the oven for my teas? No, because I got a hot plate. I got a hot plate when I do want the teas. Stove. Oh, yeah, I have a hot plate. Yeah, I got a hot plate. It works well. Sis, can you get a plug in teapot? No, I got a hot plate. So, I don't even hear stuff you sound too close to my house. So it's, yeah, so I got a hot plate. And the, the tea is not the biggest thing. But I got a hot plate and I got a beautiful tea kettle that only Funke gave me. So that's what I'm saying. I got a hot plate. And the hot plate works well. Because one time, like I said, the, uh, the stove ran out of... I bought the hot plate because I didn't have a stove. Now I realize that's all I needed. So yes. Yeah, I got a hot plate. So I'm good. And I got a kettle. Uh, so yeah, I don't need the stove for tea. I don't even use tea that much. I used to say all the time that I don't even need a kitchen until finally I was living in the Airstream with a kitchen galley, got rid of stove because of my fear of gas, got a hot plate and rice cooker. That's right. And I don't eat cooked food, so I'm good. You're doing exactly what you want when you want in your decor. Yes, I'm I'm doing my best for sure. Like I, so now I got to remember because sometimes, sometimes we are our own blockage and so-called own enemies, right? Uh, thank you, DJ PayPal, me at BlackBerryBeauty.com if you are interested in that. Yes, I love. Good idea. Thanks. Yes, the BlackBerryBeauty at gmail.com. Thank you. That's my email. If you want to see anything you want, I'm ready for you. Uh, I love the name Kojo and Kwame. It's unique and beautiful. Yes. And actually here, you know what's so interesting, Aurora? And here is so not unique. Somebody called Kwame. It could be 1,500 people answer because Kwame is the day you were born. Anybody in the, that's a con, the people that speak the tree and they born on Saturday, their name is Kwame. So it's actually not unique. And Kojo is born on Monday, so there's a 1,000 Kojos. So that's what they say, like Kwame George or... Kojo, whatever. So you kind of know which one you're talking about. But yeah, for us, it's definitely unique. Can I go bananas with some bananas? Yes, girl, right? Yes. Good morning. Good morning, Mother Earth. Love the name. Yolanda, I was thinking about you. My Che, Lisa Marie, my Che, Walter Sand sister. Hey, girl. Hey, beautiful. What does the poor, poor fruit taste like? It's papaya. Have you ever had papaya? Because poor, poor is papaya. Some people don't like it, but I don't want to say don't judge the fruit by the states because it's not like the fruits, the pawpaw or papaya that's in the Caribbean, whether it's Dominican Republic, whether it's the, the uh, English speaking Caribbean, Jamaica, Trinidad, which I spent a lot of time in Trinidad, uh, or Africa. The one in the states is imported and it never tastes good once it goes that far. How much you spell that beautiful food? That's such a great question. So I'm going to say, about, hold on a second. Let me feel like I hear something. You know, say so if I out there cleaning. I'm going to say maybe $25 a week. And I'm saying maybe. Yes. Yes, I'm going to say that. Maybe about $25. For all of that, I think I think so. But I'll I'll keep track of it and let you know because I do it every week, so I'll let you know. Grand Rising leaves me with everyone. Grand Rising, and then I take ten CDs to get there, ten CDs to get back. And ten CDs in dollars is two dollars. So hey, Edward, what's up, Lisa Marie? Everything is good. Everything is groovy. Grand Rising, truth and happiness. Just wanted to acknowledge you in that name. Everything is great. Hey, Queen Taste of Jamaica and Tings, how are you? So, yeah, uh, the oven's gone. The oven's gone. That's it. And y'all, like, I want to make sun teas. You just put it outside. And I know, isn't it? Do you, do y'all, let me ask y'all, do y'all find, or, or it's being, I mean, I'm sure being African says anything, but says I'm talking to a lot of Americans. Do you find that being American uh, makes it difficult for you to watch somebody who's no longer in America 
And do you still give advice from being American? You know what I'm saying? I know that's hard because the answer is, of course, probably. Uh, I only had to was drinking tea because I was trying to bring down the pressure. Other than that, I wouldn't even drink tea because it's not necessary to have hot tea here because it's hot from the morning to the night. The other thing is the sun is so hot that you could do sun tea, which is takes tea, put it in water and put it out in the sun. It would be a dark brew. Like how funny is that? It would be a dark brew. You would get a dark brew. Um, the other thing is, so it's hot. So just got to get that going. If anything, you would you would put those sun teas in the sun, and then maybe you might put it in the refrigerator. Me, I would just have it room temperature. Because I like warm water for my lemon juice, but I don't need it to be a water. I don't need it. I mean, if there's a, a, a place to do and be a raw foodist, it would be in Africa, which nobody talks about. Another thing, thing you got to think about it. Imagine when I'm watching how to take care of your plants. And somebody uh, asked me to join a group, which is a nice group, but I got my opinion on just groups in general in that way. Uh, the ones that's open and hundreds of people to be in. So imagine everybody in the group has humidifiers. I don't need a humidifier. I am living in a humidifier. So, or you got, it's the winter season. It's the spring season. It's the fertilization season. But we don't have winter, spring, summer, fall. Do you know how much does not apply to me? Because I'm in a whole nother continent and a whole nother country. The whole, even my hours, my there's literally 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night evenly split here. Not very frequent. The fact that they don't change their times, but everybody else in the Western world, well, at least the States does. Y'all were four, I was four hours ahead. Now I'm five hours ahead. So I got to remember at 12 noon, I'm ready to do my eight o'clock class because eight o'clock Eastern Standard, but eight o'clock is now seven. 12 is your seven. So now I got to wait till one. Everything's different. So the usage in the way is so different and you got to try to wrap your mind around that. So, I have to start videos, like I said, talking about raising plants in Africa. So when other people come, first of all, they'll realize you can get um, house plants, which ones actually really do well. It's a whole nother level. Humidity, I, I sweat in my own house. If there was no fans, you would have to run out of the house. First of all, the mosquitoes would get you because there's no fans, it's, you know, so they'd be landing. And, uh, and uh, it's hot. It's a menopausal woman, like, you're going to be hot. So fans are necessary. If I could have a fan, it would be here in the kitchen. That's the one room. And I don't want a standing fan because it takes up too much space. Let me see what else perspective-wise. So y'all can get an idea of where I am. I mean, I guess many people of Caribbean, you feel that way when you're watching Americans or even Europeans talk. Um... Yeah, everything, I mean, the question is that weather is changes so much. So uh, I can have sun tea. Like I said, I like tea, but in the States it was more necessary, and I still didn't do it a lot. Uh, but it was definitely more necessary. Now, if you have an issue, like taking some herbs, well, most of the herbs that you're going to buy here um, they're going to be, you can already get it, they already liquefy it for you. And you don't even have to put it in the refrigerator, let alone heat it up. Now, the one man gave me the herbs that you would have to cook, but like I said, I got a hot plate, which is it's so under something you'll never be able to see it, which is great. And the herbs that I got from Nana is already all pulverized or grinded into a powder, so you just put it in your coconut water. Now, my refrigerator, I need my refrigerator. My refrigerator is a necessary thing. My oven is not. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask y'all like in general, open up just a little bit and say, okay, let me you know, let me think about where she is. And and the sun, I don't care on a on a cloudy or overcast day, it is so hot that you can still make the sun tea. So you don't even need the sun. I said, you know what I was thinking about today? I said, wow, Africa or, you know, Ghana, the first place I ever been where I don't necessarily 
even have to see the sun, it's the light. When that light comes up, even though it's a cloudy day, the plants are still loving the light. Even though if the sun may be blocked by whatever the clouds, that light shines through, that heat. That's why here, cloudy day, you don't have those same reactions like, oh, in the States, oh, it's a cloudy day. Oh, I'm depressed or sad or whatever. And it ain't like that here because it's still hot. So the heat makes you go out and enjoy the day. Like, I don't really know the difference between the cloudy and the sunny because it all is hot. <laughs> I've said it enough times. It's all hot. And now the rainy season, what happened to it in the crop? Like, I just, it's not enough trees. So you don't even get so much rain for like a second to me. And then it like, you just go right back. And then the sun is extreme heat. Like, I mean, some days like going out early, like to the markets. And like today, I was just like, oh, like I'm I'm hot. Like I'm 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 real hot. Like, because I was flashing too. Uh so you gotta think everything gotta think differently about Africa and this really about lifestyle. It, I could have always been raw living here. Like it's so dang easy. That's, I, I, that's all that I can say. Because look, I don't have like family. That I don't have the family pressure. I don't have a lot of girlfriends that's good. Nay, I don't have none that eat. So I got to eat. I don't have it. Kwame eat and he eat his little private way. You know, I know this to the artists, the men that work at the art center. Like I said, there's always ladies making food, selling food, having food. So you just stop them and they just eat their food and then they go on. So our whole... I'm going to say more of the artists, but even in general, like the ladies selling food, who has time to really, like, they just trying to eat and sustain themselves so they can do the work that they do all day long. Food is definitely fuel. It tastes good. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't see the obsession that I see in the States around it. And when you take off the psychological obsession, then it's just something part of life, but it's not the only thing. I gotta work and I gotta live and I gotta watch the children and I gotta laugh and I gotta have joy. And I, it's such a, from my eyes, a more less obsessive or any one thing society than I've ever seen. But they don't always know it. So, you know me, I'm right at, you know, I don't know why quite when they ask me, I tell them I'm too old to lie now. So I was, it was some elders sitting down and they said, Kwame said, oh, they want to ask you questions about the U, not U.S. elections. So what do you think about the two running mates? What do you think about the, the two election? I said, oh, it's one white racist uh, against another. I'm sorry, y'all. Yes, that's what I said. Shocked. Like they did not. I said, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what else? I don't know what else they want to know. And it's like, well, don't you think the Democrats is more liberal? I said, that's what they've been feeding you and they've been feeding us for years. I can see why you fell for it because we fall for it all the time. We still fall for it. I said, no, it's a system with a name on it, but it's the same system. And it's a system that can only survive if those on the, there's a whole bunch on the bottom. I said, corruption there, corruption here. It's the same thing. Matter of fact, the corruption that you see here, it comes from there. It's controlled from there. He looked at me like I was crazy. That was not the answer they were looking for. But don't you think that this one is better than another one? Nah, not at all. Not even a little tiny bit. Mm -mm, no. Uh, well, uh, shock. Like, don't know what to say. Well, uh, today, Faustina asked me, so which one do you think is better? I said, none. Which one would you would have voted for? None. They, they don't understand this. That this is strange. That you're not. No, why? Because it never changed my life one way or the other. So there you go. Well, I govern my own life. Uh, I, my own life is the divine most high is the president and the answer is the vice president. I, I said, you know, I mean, it shocks people because that's not what they're expecting. And most people are not that brutally honest if they felt that way. I just don't even, I, if it wasn't going on, I just keep going. So, and so he said, this is the old man, elder, Aja, Aja, he said, uh, he said, so when are you leaving Africa? I said, I'm not. You're not going back to the States? No, mm -mm. nope, not going back. Not if I can help it, you know. And he said, uh, well, 
you're not going to like it here. I said, I've been here eight months. Oh, that's too soon. Don't worry. You're not going to like it here. And I said, so you, you think I like it? I was liking it there. You think that that's a better place for me? Like, is that what you're saying? And I asked them, and what is that based on? Have you been there? No. Have you lived there? No. Have, don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. Not only are most of us that's watching very, I don't know if that could be that's called ethnocentric, the inability to engage or connect ideas and concepts to something outside of what they know. See, America has really spoiled us because it makes us not think on a level of the globally, although they certainly think globally. They have ruled from the very beginning of time that they touched the world, that they have been ruling globally. But they got you thinking ethnocentrically so that you will never have a connection to anything else. So your so our questions can't even be our questions are based on questions that only can be answered in our states that we're living in. We have to open our minds, no matter how old, no matter how young, and we have to start at least if we're too old to learn, then we need to get our children to start thinking more globally. Because that's a true intelligence. The things that we say is, is law or like, you know, everybody knows, everybody where? Well, black people, black people where? What black people? Which black people we talk about? And as long as we have that mentality, we're going to never unify and never connect. It's not the greatest nation in the world. It look crazy, actually. And when you outside of it, you see how crazy, and y'all really think it look crazy because of the last president, or maybe he'll be this next person. I don't really know what game they're gonna play on y'all. I think they're just trying to appease people so y'all won't do nothing and mess up the economy right now because it's near Christmas. That's what it's about. So I don't know exactly how that's gonna run down, but y'all think that he's saying something different. I mean, he's exactly what everybody else felt. He's just saying, it. what's wrong with that? Ain't nothing wrong with that because that's what we grew up in, bro. We love illusion, we love the illusion. That's why we got movies and pictures and DVDs so we can be out of reality. Because nobody really wants to, to tell the truth. We want to believe. When we can be believing in so much more, believing in our own lives, believing in our own abilities, believing in our own next steps. We could hold a vision for ourselves that transcends, transmutes, and eventually transforms any of this worldly or earthly, if you will, shit. But we're not. We're not. You got to open up. You're watching a different Lisa Marie living in a different place at a different time. And they got the folks here thinking it's all good over there. You take a good look. It don't even look cute. From out here, with that don't look cute at all. It look, it look chaotic and ridiculous. And it's kind of embarrassing, to be honest. So y'all free yourselves from the mental slavery because, you know, it's funny. He said, free yourself from mental slavery. But he said something about something about atomic because none of them can stop the time. I mean, damn, like Bob Marley was deep. Like it's all in your head. So what you want to put in your head? Because it's all in your head. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. Do y'all think it's weird that you don't know who your president is right now? Uh, they really count votes. Y'all first world country, how long does it take? How long it take? I mean, I'm just saying, why is everything slow? Why, why, why? First world country, you can have everything right now. Why don't you have that? But it's okay because they got them thinking I'm crazy. I ain't gonna make it, they say. She'll go home, they'll say. Because her country is so great, they say. Democ Democrats are more liberal, they say. I mean, y'all still believe that. Because it's not the Africans just believe in it. You believe it too. I'm not saying Africa's bad. It's the corruption is deep. I don't, none of them ruling my destiny. None of them. I, I said that. I said I govern my own life. That way, they was lost on that one. Was, that was it. <laughs> in that conversation, I was like, Kwame, did you want me to lie? I don't know. Because I just don't set me up because I'm going to tell the truth. 
at least as I see it. All right, y'all. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get this deep. Oh, I got to go. I got six minutes. Six minutes. And it's time for the show. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Shakespeare said. It's time for the show. Y'all y'all ready for it? Are you ready for the show? Because it's on if you just choose to see it. All right. Is that enough? That's not where you was going with me. I know. I can't help it. It's the it's spirit. It's spirit made me do it. Iced tea is also very good in the heat. Oh, iced tea in the heat. Right. So I guess you do it in the heat and then you put it in the refrigerator. Yes. Jackie said, Eddie 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 Truth of heaven is not me. I love watching all the people, repatriations, expats, and explorations. It's inspiring, planning, exploration for repatriation for myself and immediate family. It provides realistic expectations. You know what? And let me just say that. Okay, can I just, I do need to, I wouldn't even, that, it ain't even going to be your experience. You might have an idea. It ain't like it till you get here. I can't even explain it. You can watch a thousand. I'm gonna talk. I'm literally talking in numbers. You can watch a thousand people. It ain't yours. When people watch too much, it's like you're trying to convince yourself you want to come or not. Was you called or not? Because if you was called, you good. Now, of course, you need to know some factual stuff, whatever that is, because it's all relative anyway. It depends on who's saying it, from what perspective, how they see it, how much brainwashing that they had, and how much they released. If you coming, you coming. If it's for you, it's for you. I'm not saying don't look at it. I'm saying let's I'm hold in the vision. This is the next class. Let's hold it. We're gonna have to get super duper metaphysics. Not to say you were not. Just to, just to kind of GD. I can't wait to get there. I want to be somewhere that never gets cold. Yeah, that's realistic. Now that I can tell you is factual. <laughs> yes, that, there you go. Don't get cold. I love that because a lot of emotions controlled by the sun. Go ahead. I felt terrible when I can't see the sun. Yes, and here you won't almost necessarily see it, but you'll feel it, and that's really the magic. They eat to live. They don't live to eat. Like yes, there you go, Linda. I love you. You won't go, girl. Yes, she she breaking it down. Thank you. I'll say, Linda, gonna put it real simple for y'all. It's just that simple. They not living to eat. There you go. How about the mountains? Have you been around the mountains? Living around mountains are much cooler, I heard. Uh, the mountains sound beautiful, and one day I'll get there. Now, I don't know if I want it. Yeah, I love it all. I want to try it all. My hi, my hi, Holly's Marie. My hi, everyone. Hey, sister Omi. But yeah, I would love to. I want to visit the mountains for sure. Good morning, Charles Mary. Corruption runs deep. Yes, everywhere. Lady K. Cheryl says, well said. Thank you. Thank you, Charles Mary. I'll be trying to. Just give the message as I receive it and not, you know, not scare y'all. America desensitizes many, many. Traveling expands the mind and DNA. Hold the vision for yourselves. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for that showing that PayPal. If you want to donate because you're feeling something, the email and my PayPal is there. Thanks to DJ. Thank you, DJ, for holding it down. Miseducation. That's right. Hashtag miseducation. Hashtag exodus. Movement of job people. Yes, they lost the playback. Come on now. That conservative liberal and out Yeah. In my opinion, has been redefined. Has to be right truth and happiness. Another one of the most. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they lead. I mean, they. Yeah, absolutely. It's just absolutely. Nappy diva preach. You're right about people loving the illusion. Love it. And, it, you know. It's really ridiculous what's happening in America. But once again, hold the vision for yourself. Much respect. Me. Thank you, darling. It's all, it's all, yeah. It's the, this one right here. I'm looking at this going, y'all know this ain't never happened. What's going on? That's fair feedback. Oh, Midasi Pa, I love you for that. Yes, I need that heat from the sun. Yes, recalibrate. Yes. That stuff wake you up. That and the, and the greens, you good. You know, like the, the chemicals in the food have people, straight. yeah, I, yeah, I, you know, you're right. And the abundance of garbage. Because people think in America, never try to have a conversation with people who refuse to deal with That's right. And and when I first, oh, y'all, I got to go. I'm going to be late for my class. I love you so much. Thank you for listening. Like, share, subscribe, comment, donate, and let me get on Zoom. I love y'all. Peace and blessings to you ladies. Talk to you soon.